Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Logox 3-in-1 forestry tool. And I've had this um, well over a year. And I just kind of wanted to show you some things with it that maybe some other channels a lot of times when they do reviews on stuff if if a company has sent them a product for free uh, they may not tell you necessarily what their negatives are about something so um, I'm gonna give you an unbiased review this is a tool that I bought myself and no way am associated with Logox and I'm just gonna give you my opinion about it and some things to think about if you're if you're looking at buying one for yourself so this is the three-in-one forestry tool and you've got a timber jack you can remove it and have a cant hook and you can also remember uh, remove that and have a log hauler and I'll show you how to do all that stuff I'll show you what the positives and negatives are of this tool and uh, stay tuned Something I want to show you before we get started actually demonstrating the tool itself. The tool alone, which any any forestry tool or any type of a can hook or anything like that is going to be fairly heavy. But I just wanted to, uh, you know, show you the weight of it and I'll explain why that's important here in a few minutes. So this tool weighs right at 12 pounds. So I'm going to show you how this thing works to transform it between the different tools. And it's super easy. Right now you can see it's set up in the timber jack configuration. And all we got to do is pull these two pins. Pop out our, our pins. And then the timber jack comes off. And that leaves us with a cant hook. In order to take it on to the next step, which would be the log hauler, then again, you just pull out your keeper, pull your pin, pull out your handle, and that leaves you with the log hauler. Simple to put back together, of course, just the opposite way. And this tool functions exactly as they say but let's get you some footage we'll, we'll use the tool put it through its paces and then I'll tell you my final thoughts about it
just the log hauler by itself. Um, we're going to weigh that and see what it weighs out at. But it's roughly six pounds and eight ounces, which is six and a half pounds just for the log hauler by itself. And that's a good quality, heavy made tool. And let me show you why that I'm stressing this whole weight thing. And this is where part of my evaluation or my opinion will come across on this tool. Here's a piece of firewood. Uh, this thing, it's only about six or so inches across. It's not a very big piece and it's 18 inches long. So this piece of firewood weighs 17 pounds, 14 ounces, so almost 18 pounds. If you add the weight of the log ox to it, We're going to set it right on the top. That same piece of wood just became 24 and a half pounds. Winchester wanted to come over and see what was going on. Come here, buddy. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? He's been rolling in the mud since it rained today. Haven't you? So the log ox tool is definitely a good, useful tool. It's heavy built. I mean, it's no doubt, you know, quality is not going to wear out or fall apart on you anytime soon. And there's, it's tons of plus to that, but there's also some downside to it. Uh, if you're using the tool for the log hauler and you're lifting those logs up with one arm, the way that the tool is designed to use, it adds six and a half pounds to the weight of your log that you're lifting. So if you've got a 30 pound log, then you've got a 36 and a half pound log and you're having to lift it with one hand. So definitely can make it a little more difficult on that side, but it does keep you from bending over to pick it up. So, you know, the question is whether you find that more valuable because uh, I, I don't know, I, maybe people with back problems would definitely find it way more valuable. Um, I don't really have back problems every once in a while. Maybe my back will ha twinge or something, but uh, I actually find that I have more control just to bend over pick it up with two hands and stack it now the smaller pieces you know just to keep you from bending over as much uh, if you've got a six pound piece of wood you know and it's only this big around and you use that tool you've got a 12 pound piece of wood every single time so that's the biggest downfall I can see to the tool is the added extra weight but anytime you use a tool to lift something or to in this case of you know with firewood or whatever um, there's always going to be that factor of weight or added weight and some of them might be more and some of them might be less but anyways that's just something to take into consideration whenever you're looking at buying one of these um, for me I didn't think about it whenever I bought it and now it plays a role in whether I use it that much or not so I don't hardly use the log hauler itself uh, mainly because of that I use the can hook quite a lot and then I use the timber jack sometimes and don't use the tool nearly as much as I thought I would because I was buying it specifically for the log hauler and then once I got to using it then 
it just seemed like that it was a little bit harder uh, for me and I don't think that it's you operator error or anything like that and I'm sure that uh, if the company sees this they're gonna be like well you're, you just don't know how to use it or whatever but what I'm given is an unbiased opinion my own thoughts behind it my experience with using it I've had it for almost two years um, I've used it quite a bit I've used it enough to know what I like and what I don't like about it and you know the parts that make it uncomfortable for me to use might not make it it might not be that way for somebody else I, I just want to point out you know this is me this is the way I, I do things and this is my opinion so um, I'm sure there's a bunch of people that have log oxes out there that's gonna be like what you're crazy a log ox is the best tool ever invented I don't deny it's a good tool and I don't deny that it saves your back and all that kind of stuff I'm just saying you're picking up extra weight every time that you pick up a piece of wood and for some people that could make a difference it could matter uh, and you're having to pick it up with one hand or one arm you're gripping everything all the weight in one hand so anyways the rest of it like I say the cant hook uh, it works it works great uh, the only downfall to that part of it is the handles not very long so if you're comparing it to a hundred and forty dollar steel that is they've got a long handle on them and this one's kind of I'm, I'm you know the tool is meant to be modular take it apart put it in a little bag and you carry everything all together uh, you can't do that with a full-size can hook it's just it's just really long and takes up a lot of space so you know that they're trying to keep everything modular and I get that so but just keep it in mind if you go to roll a big log with this it's probably not going to do it nearly as easy as what you know a full-size or regular can hook would do that's pretty much all I have to say about it so I hope you all find this helpful um, I'm not trying to bash anything by telling its negatives like I said there's a lot of good things that to this tool that you know it it does exactly what they say if you have any comments or questions or anything about the logox 3-in-1 forestry tool be sure to leave those in the comments below I will get back to you as quickly as I can on that and hopefully answer the question the best that I can thanks for uh, checking out the logox 3-in-1 forestry tool if you enjoy videos like this reviews and just outdoor activities make sure you click that thumbs up button subscribe and when you do make sure you click that bell icon so you'll get notifications whenever I upload new videos uh, also, we'll be having a 250 subscriber giveaway, so make sure you're in for that. Thanks for watching.